Hey everybody, it's Jamie, aka The Bag Lady. It is Thursday, uh, July 11th. What I've got for you is um, take two of an America's Thrift Supply five-piece purse box. The reason I say take two is because I actually filmed this box yesterday and I went to watch it and accidentally deleted it. So um, we're gonna do it over. <laughs> For those that don't know me, I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and The Real Real. By day, I'm a business banking loan renewal specialist. So, um, this box, let's see, do I have the receipt somewhere? I'm not, um, it's kind of showing you guys bags. Okay, so this box cost $52.48. I did use um, Kristen D's code which is Kristen, K-R-I-S-T-E-N, um, and that'll get you 15% off. So, um, actually the very first bag that I pulled out in the original video was this one. It is an Anne Klein bag, and it is very, very, very misshapen. Um, and at first I was thinking that I could just set it out in the sun and reshape it, um, you know, clean it up a little bit and, you know, it would be a good bag. But then I looked inside and the inside zipper pocket, the zipper is all wonky and it's like the, the zipper's like busted open. So I can't fix that. So you know, maybe someone else can, but I can't. So that was bag number one. The second bag I pulled out, which I actually did some research on, this is um, the Disney Loungefly Mickey Pride bag. Um, it's in excellent condition. I think it's like a new without tag kind of situation. Let me look at these. I didn't look at the corners real good. Um, and it does have... It's crossbody strap. So it's an adjustable crossbody, Mickey Mouse Pride, Disney Lounge Fly. Inside, it does have a center, like this is a center zip section. Then it's got um, slips over here and nothing over here but really nice tote. Um, I don't remember what the comps were. They were really, the, the comps were decent though. Um, so, yep, that was bag number two. And bag number three was this bag that I had never heard of before. And it's called Monsac, or Monsac, M-O-N-S-A-C. Um, this is a genuine leather vintage shoulder bag like a crack embossed it does have an outside zipper pocket zipper runs like butter and then you've got like a logo branded interior in there it does come with a little hang tag it has um, again it's a shoulder strap or you know shoulder bag but your straps are great um magnetic closure and then there's your inside oh gosh it's so hard with this um it has an inside zipper pocket it has your branding there and then you've got slips on this side and there is a key leash or a, actually not a leash it's a like a real key ring in here um although why would you want to do that? But anyway, okay. And the other thing that it has in here is a certificate of authenticity. And there is the envelope. And then here is your certificate of authenticity. And I did look this up. I did a little bit of research on it. Um, and it seems like it was bought up by another bag company in about 2000. Um, so I couldn't, didn't really see any like recent information. So this is definitely a vintage piece. Um, 
and there's your bottom. And I believe, oh yes, the feet are even monogrammed with the logo. This, you know what, this is just a stunning, stunning little bag. Um, I do see a little couple, like, I don't even know. It might just be a variation on the leather, but I don't think so. Right above my fingertips there. Um, but I can certainly wipe that down. But I, I mean, for this being a vintage piece, it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh, and it snaps too. Oh, so it has snaps in here, you guys. This this bag's really cool. I don't remember what comps were. Um, they weren't like outrageously high, but they weren't super low either. And then of course we've got Vera. So this is a Vera backpack. It's in excellent condition. Um, these sell for me um, on Poshmark. It's got the little top handle. Um, it's got an inside zipper pocket, outside zipper pocket. Oh, and the outside zipper pocket even has like another little pocket, like a slip pocket in there. So, um, you know, not a bad piece at all. I, you know, I can definitely sell that. And the last one is brand new with tag Vera Bradley. It is the triple compartment shoulder bag at retail. Oh, in Madalena Paisley Soft is the print. Um, retail price of $109. Um, it is a really pretty bag. So, um, and it's very, very, very lightweight. I mean, very lightweight. There's your one side magnetic closure. Here's your other side. So that's two of your compartments. And then your third compartment is center zip with inside zip and slips. So, um, you know what? Not a bad piece. This is actually a Vera Bradley. Oh, and it's got, it's a double zip. So anyway. There you go. Brand new with tags. So not a, not a bad box at all. Um, one bummer bag. I did only get five bags. Um, and this is the second box in a row with just five bags, but that's fine. I, you know what? I, it's a good box. It's a solid box. Um, <clears throat> you know, this bag is absolutely incredible. And this Disney Lounge Fly Pride bag is amazing as well. So, um, I probably, you guys, am not going to do pricing. Um, I will wait and get these stuffed up and offer them up in my bag sale on Saturday. So, um... Anyway, with that, I do have a fun box coming. Um, I did order one of those this week. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. Um, and I'm gonna set my alarm so I can get another America's Thrift Supply box tomorrow. Um, other than that, I don't have anything ordered. I did do some thrifting today. Oh, let me show, show you guys. Um, Check out this Brooks Brothers bag. Is that not classy? I mean, oh my gosh. The pebbled leather on this bag is, it's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. There is a little bit of scratching to um, the nameplate, the logo nameplate, but this, this bag is super super clean um this is another one that i am going to offer up in my bag sale but it's just this bag's incredible absolutely incredible 
I was shocked, totally shocked when I found it um, because you could tell somebody had been through there. All the bags were open. Um, why they didn't recognize the quality of this bag and snatch it up, I will never understand. But I thank them for leaving it for me. I mean, even like your handles are great on this. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, trying to find the other piece that I picked up. Oh, you guys, you're going to die. <laughs> For the non-jewelry person, I picked up a jewelry jar. And I'm going to be part of a jewelry collab, if you can believe that. <laughs> so, I grabbed this wallet. Um, and I don't, I don't remember how to pronounce the name. But I loved... It, it is, it's real leather. I loved um, the color of it and this little design, and it's in really, really, really good condition. So I will offer that up in my bag sale as well. Um, my jewelry jar is wrapped up. I, I know well, when I was, you know, because it's clear, so I was kind of looking through it, and I did see some type of Swarovski earring, but it, I don't think it was Swarovski itself. It might have been a diffusion line. Um, I'm not sure. And then what other... What else did I thrift? Um, I thrifted this bag. Oh, this is a pink Gianni Bernini, pebbled leather. Um, I thrifted that today. Needs a little cleaning up. So, yeah. I'm really going to have a nice selection for the Saturday morning bag sale. Um, so with that, it brings us to story time. Um... It's been a stressful few days, you guys. I am not going to lie. Um, fridge came yesterday. They were late. Um, I had packed up some of my refrigerated stuff. Excuse me. I'm so sorry, you guys. I went back to the office today for the first time. So since mom passed, um, I, cause I've been working from home, but I haven't, I've not been able to concentrate here. So, um, I went back to the office today and in fact, I'm really thinking about going back um, and working at the office again tomorrow, at least maybe not all day, but a good portion of the day. Um, so anyway, um, <laughs> I got the mind of a squirrel, you guys. I'm telling you, just like that, I lose my train of thought and forget what the hell I am saying. Um, so, oh, refrigerator business. Packed up some of my refrigerator stuff in an insulated bag. They were late. I decided, well, this stuff maybe should go in the refrigerator, in the bag, you know. And guys come, take my old refrigerator. I forgot to remove the bag. And, yeah. I didn't get my refri my insulated refrigerated bag back until today. Um, <laughs> it was crazy. And, and then I thought some of my... I thought some of my things that I put in there were missing when in fact I didn't put them in there. <laughs> I put them in, in the mini fridge in my son's room. So anyway, it, it it's just been a crazy couple days. I, and in my new fridge, you guys, it makes a rattling noise. But if you touch it, the rattling noise goes away. But then if you take your hand off of it, it does it again. I, I'm going to have to call them. They're going to have to come out and they're going to have to do something. I can't. Like, I can't touch my refrigerator 24-7. It's awful. It's really, really awful, you guys. But other than that, I love it. <laughs> so, one by one, and I swear to God, it has been one by one, literally. First thing was the microwave that got put in, then the dishwasher, refrigerator yesterday, and I think next week the oven's coming, or stove. Oh, excuse me. I am so sorry, you guys. Um, You know, I... I don't sleep well normally and then having to get up and go to the office today and work at the office. Um, yeah. So, um, anyway, with that, I don't have much else going. Oh, you know what? I do have some stuff going on Saturday. I do have a grad party to go to. Um, and it's supposed to be beautiful here in Michigan. So, Fingers crossed it is beautiful. I'm going to go lay, down, go, um, lay by the pool for 
a little bit Saturday. My, my goal is to get up early, list some items. I have not been listing you guys. If you could see my dining, my um, living room table, um, it's covered in purses because I haven't, like usually whatever doesn't sell in the bag sale, I list on Poshmark. I haven't been listing y'all. I mean, like I've listed maybe one item this week, <laughs> one. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna like make myself list 10, ten items while I'm drinking coffee in the morning and then I can go to the pool. Oh, I'm so sorry I keep yawning. So with that, um, I guess I'm gonna let y'all go. Peace.